Well, bam, guys, we are back. Uh, here with more Skyrim. It's me, Bread, doing Bread things again. And, um... I think we're about to meet Delphine in Riverwood. I believe. Let's do that. Actually, you know what? Uh, do we have, like, a bunch of stuff? I think we should sell some stuff. I'm gonna do that real quick and then, um... Make make it so. Make it make it nice. Hey, buddy. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. Sure is. Let's. Uh, you and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Yeah, I agree. All right, what do you got for sale? Take a look. Hey, that's me. <laughs> All right, I want to sell some stuff. Um, I'm gonna sell this arrow. I think these arrows were actually just stuck in me. Um, oh, we're gonna want to use that actually. Keep that. Keep that. Uh, dagger, great sword. That has nothing left in it. And know that already. All right. Um, let me keep my cool cultist stuff because we're a cultist now. Um, so the that had no value. Oh my god, why did I give that away? Ah, and I'm um, not gonna wear that. And yeah, I can have some of my stuff here. You only have 137? Well, let's see. A couple of wines. Have this fishy. Yeah, keep that. You know, my snowberries. And that, and some fat that I found. These books. 60 left, eh? Do we have something that's exactly 60? Uh, one of those. And, oh man. Perfect, 27. Yes, now we have 5,000 golds. Till next time. Thanks for the money. All right, now, now we're on our way. Because we were. Have you heard? There's been another dragon attack. Kynescroft this time. I was there. Who told you? All right. I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. Oh yeah, there's no way I was followed. I I went to like so many different places. Oh, he's playing music over there. That's nice. We don't need to close the door this time. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Uh, that didn't take long. I've been doing this a long time, remember? While the Thalmor have been looking for me, I've been watching them. So what's your plan? How do I infiltrate? The Thalmor Embassy. The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellen Wynn, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the Embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wynn's secret files. Ellen Wynn? I have a contact inside the Embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. Melbourne? I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? No. Nope. While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? Um... Who is this contact? He's just some guy. Um, how am I... She just explained it. Once I'm inside the embassy, then what? I get the file. Yeah. 
So it was just a recap. See you in solitude. Sounds good. Be careful. Hey, that guy's pretty good on that little uh, loot. You got some skills, buddy. I'd stay and uh, have you play another song, but uh. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to White Run from Old Rorikstead. And we're getting out of there. <laughs> All right, so we gotta go to Solitude. We've never been there, so... It's way up yonder. I'm, uh... I'm gonna go to my favorite stable. And we're gonna fast travel to Solitude. Fragments of Uthrad are the most treasured artifacts of the companions. This guy's just here all the time. Need a ride? Yeah. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Altitude. Climb and back and we'll be off. Sure thing. First time to Solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already um, no. I didn't know that was the capital of Skyrim, but now I do. I thought White One might have been the capital, but... It's just the center. Was there a capital of, um... Oh yeah, the, the White Gold Tower. I was like... The capital of Oblivion? Of, uh... Of, uh... What's the place Oblivion is set in? I gotta go to the stable first. Oblivion is in... I can't remember the name of the province. Uh, Cyrodiil. That's it. Yeah. You guys are probably screaming at me. But I got it. I got it right. I was like, it's not Tamriel. That's the whole place. Well, it's all castle-y. If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Rika. If not... Just keep your nose clean while you're here. Who's saying that? End up like Rogbeer. Oh, who's Rogbeer? Most shops are open from 8, 8 a.m. No, 12 hours a day, huh? That's pretty exhausting. Especially if there's only one person working it. Hurt Uncle Rogvir? Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. Oh. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Stay there. Go home and stay there. Traitor! What's happening? You, tell you betrayed us! Get on with the traitor's it! High King. Best she know now, Advar. They're all heart, Vivian. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Torig. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. <clears throat> he doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric Liar. challenged Torik. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Boo! Are we gonna kill him? On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Oh god. That's it? Mmm, spice wine for ya? It's a family recipe. <laughs> it's a weird thing to say after that just you happened. Look like you could do with a ripe apple. Or a tomato. Cabbage. Or, or leek. Do I look hungry? Like... Gate guard, you are. Yeah. He died well. Died well. That's kind of tragic. I'm gonna take his amulet of Talos though, because those are helpful. Yeah, you can just <clears throat> out with it. Can can talk to any of you? Good riddance to bad rubbish, I see. You wouldn't be a sellsword, would you? 
I have a little problem you could solve. Okay, I can't talk to anybody. It shouldn't have been like this. I gotta continue with my mission. The music sounds really good. Or at least it did. Until it stopped. Alright, I gotta go over there. Hey, uh... Need something? You, Malborn? Hmm? Our mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. Well, we might have to... We might have to give him my cultist stuff. Uh... I'm ready. Okay, I'll get this inside it, the embassy for you. So... I've gotta go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. I don't need any... I just need my kitty gloves. I need... I need him to have my kitty gloves. So... We're gonna give him one of my masks. One of those robes. I think. Because I don't... I think. And boots and... My gloves. We'll be... We'll, we'll blame it on... We'll blame it all on the cultists. I think... I think that's it. Is that it? Someone's drumming. Doing pretty good for only using one hand. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, he's uh, he just piecing out. I'm gonna pass you. You're... Yeah, whatever you were about to say. Probably would have been like, you're the one she picked. I can't believe it. Look at you. You want some wine or some tomatoes? <laughs> I mean, when the, like immediately after a public execution, um, no oh, more kitties. There's kitties at every city. Tools, wheels, and weapons. Yeah, immediately after there was a public execution, they're like, Hmm, have you tried my spiced wine? You look like you could have some tomatoes or something. <laughs> Judging from the way the tomatoes look in this, uh, in this world, I, I could do without some tomatoes. Hey, Delphine, what's up, dude? Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yeah, I gave him my cultist stuff. They're gonna blame it on the cultists. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. What am I wearing? You're ready. Party clothes, party I'll keep boots. keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor. Okay, I'll I'll put on the party boots and the party pants. Party boots. And I gotta gotta take off my mask, I guess. And I gotta Can I wear my necklace? Surely I can wear a Talos necklace to the Thalmor embassy. Like what what harm would that mean? Uh Okay. Embassy dressed like that. Hey, I look pretty good. I look pretty nice. Am I good? I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Hey, I got class. I'm ready. Don't worry. It will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Oh, I immediately get in the thing. All right, here we go. We're going to the embassy. 
something just uh there's like a quest notification sound ah a fellow latecomer to ellen's little soiree hey and arriving by carriage no less i salute you my good lady Oh. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain than to any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Please, you first. There's not enough drinking in the world today, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, right. Razzle, razzle I, I agree. I will just rest here a moment. Damnably cold out here. I don't look forward to the trip back down. All right, buddy. Welcome to the Thalmor oh. Embassy. Your invitation, please. Um, here you go. Thank you, Mom. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. This guy's entertaining. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. Yes, yes. Now, to find myself a drink. I likes his drinks. <sighs> oh, well, you know what? We're looking good. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Elinwyn, the Thalmor Ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Um... My name is... Take a look. Pleased to meet you. Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... To Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do Seems I have your permission to uncork the... Sky. Of course. I've told like you before spy. not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, like Madam that, Ambassador. Dragons on the loose. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. Yeah, no, no worries. I look forward to the day when this rebellion is put down and we once again have peace. I know just what you mean. Heard anything interesting lately? Any news or gossip? Have you visited Rorikstead lately? Man. No matter how harsh the winter, the crops that right. grow there never fault. What can I get for you? Even yes, what do you need? Uh, I like a drink. Here you go, ma'am. The finest Colovian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? Um, I'm ready. Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. Oh. Well, I, I have a drink, so... I give it to my buddy. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Hey. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. Lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Uh. Yeah. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. Uh, can you do something? Is that all? My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my handiwork. <laughs> this guy's great. Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our nice mistress. Well, let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. Okay. Wow, the door closed really fast. I gotta get my cultist here. You are already in bed with her. But again, I so far, so good. Let's hope nobody course. saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your, your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. Someone bring me a drink, quick. 
Who comes, Malburn? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. Oh. Guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Okay. I need to lock the door. Uh, equip, 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 equip. Behind you. Patrol. Yeah, yeah, we're a full cultist wrong. now. Let's hope that it ends soon for their sake. Speak truly. Have you heard any interesting rumors? All right. Let's do this. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. There were several Did Good you luck. See those robes You're on your own now. Morning? Who are they with? More of the emissary's treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe What's this? we'll get lucky. All more robes. Might They're all magic colored. Ha! I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down and all more boots. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> well, we'd better get back to our rounds. Uh oh. Are they coming out here? Okay. Let's not like take a look needs to fear them, but we we don't have very much armor on us. Okay, they don't seem to be coming. But that does appear to be the only eight feet. Oh, that might come in handy. Um, that does appear to be the only way. The bread. Excuse me. It fell into the bowl. Never should have Damn it. come here. <gasps> I'm still Over holding the bowl. <laughs> Gods, another fight. Yeah, it is a fight. Who said that? Elven armor. Oh, that actually might be better than the cultist stuff. Okay, oh, now he's naked. Unlock door requires key. Oh. We, we, we went for the bread. Fuck. <gasps> yes. <laughs> And everybody will wonder how it happened, because uh You'll make a fine rug, cat. Who said that? Who said that? There's somebody up here? Where are you? I don't know, but you sound close. Maybe we should sneak it so he stops looking for us. I'm going to find you. Oh, he's definitely like in the hall. Must have scared him off. Tell us, I could have sworn he was in the hall. Oh my god. This this uh money. This um Sneaking business. Bread! There's bread everywhere! I'm getting so much bread! Cake in the diamond. I guess we'll go out here. I heard like a sword sound. Uh oh. You want some? Yes, 
is the only way out of the oh, no. ah! Just pick him up, throw him. <laughs> you You'll wish to fight! Ow. Oh dear god, dear god, we're just beating up everybody. Is there more? Fancy gem. New magic. There's definitely like... Oh, they're outside on the other side. So much for sneaking. But I need that money. I earned it. I have my own expenses. Silence. Do not presume, Lisa. You are most useful. But yes. Oh. <laughs> less. No I leveled up somehow. Let's do that real quick. This is great. Uh, stamina, I guess. Alright, um... I was having a great time, guys. Enchanting! Oh, heavy armor! Oh, we need to be 30. I guess we'll do that. So that we're almost there. Have they? Etienne, he's talked, hasn't he? He knows where that old man is, your Red? He told me himself. You'll get the rest of your money when we confirm his story, as agreed. So he has talked. I knew it. Everyone talks, in the end. Now, I have work to do. Leave me to it if ever you want to see the rest of your payment. Can I... I could help you. He talked to me. He trusts me. What are they talking about? You'd like to come downstairs with me, is that it, Gissa? Shall we loose his bonds and put you in a cell together? You can ask him anything you'd like and see how he answers. No, no, I'll... I'll wait outside. That would probably be best. Now, get out. They're scared of the dragons too, aren't they? Paying too well, and they don't know anything. Oh. They don't know anything about the dragons. guys out. We're gonna have to beat up the other guy in here. I think. Dragon investigation. Current status. First emissary, Elowen. We anticipate a breakthrough in our efforts to uncover the party or power behind the dragon resurrection phenomenon. Uh, an informant has identified a possible lead. We whom whom we have brought back to the embassy for a full interrogation. Uh, the subject is obstinate, obstinate, I don't know that word, um, but by all the indications is holding back uh, the information we seek. I have authorized immediate, oh, intermediate, manual uncoiling. Uh, I do not expect more will be necessary unless you feel time presses. Uh, I know you prefer to be present for the final questioning. I will inform you immediately when the subject is fully re receptive. Two days should two days should tell the tale. In the meantime, if you have if you wish to audit our technique, your expertise is welcome as always. I have placed the prisoner in the cell closest to your office stairs for your convenience. Rulindal, third emissary. Well, we'll take that. Take the key. They have a dossier on Delphine and Ulfric Stormcloak. That's... Capture or kill. Status active. High priority. Emissary level approval. Female Breton mid-50s. Uh, Delphine was a high priority target during the first war for both operational and political reasons. She directly in involved in several of the most damaging operations carried out by the Blades within the Dominion. She has been identified and was slated for the initial purge. 
but by bad luck was recalled to Cyrodiil just before the outbreak of hostilities. During the war, she evaded three attempts on her life. Man, it's crazy. In one case, killing an entire assassination team. Since then, we have only indirect evidence of her movements, and she has proven extremely alert to our surveillance. She should be considered very dangerous, and no, no move against her should be made without overwhelming force and the most careful preparation. She's believed to still be working actively against us within Skyrim, although we have no location on her assumed to be working alone, as no other blades are known to be active in Skyrim. Uh, and she has in the past avoided contact with other fugitive blades for her own security. Uh, information or whereabouts and actually should be immediately forwarded there. Well, we should take this. And then they're learning about Alfric too. Uncooperative. Status asset, dormant, emissary level approval, Jarl of Windhelm, leader of Stormcloak Rebellion, Imperial Legion veteran. I didn't know that. Um, came to attention during the first war against the Empire when he's taken, a pr taken as prisoner of war during the campaign for the White Gold Tower. Under interrogation, we learn of his potential value, son of the Jarl of Windhelm. He was assigned as an asset to the interrogator who is now first emissary Elowen. He was made to be, be he was made to believe information obtained during his interrogation was crucial in the capture of the imperial city. This is crazy. I never knew this. I never knew any of this. Um then he was allowed to escape after the war contact was established and he has proven his worth as an asset. A so-called Markarth incident was particularly valuable from the point of view of our strategic goals in Skyrim. Oh my, they're using the Stormcloak Rebellion to take down the Empire. Ulfric is like a traitor. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, like he was obviously a traitor, but like he's like working with the elves to take out the Empire. Uh, as long as the civil war proceeds in the current un indecisive fashion, we should remain hands off. The incident at Helgen is an example where an exemption had to be made. Obviously, Ulfric de Ulfric's death would have dramatically increased the chance of an imperial victory and thus harmed our overall position in Skyrim. Man. Okay, they think, they think whoever's behind the dragons is also like... Wanting the war to continue for some reason? That's crazy. We need to take this book too. Bread on, bread on top of cheese! Oh man. That, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Is that. Oh, is there more bread? Take bread, take bread. We're getting so much bread here. So that must have been her office. Yeah, it was. Stop, please. I don't know anything else. Don't oh my god. I've told you already. Silence. You know the rules. Do not speak unless spoken to. Master Rollindil will ask the questions. Let's begin again. No, for pity's you know sake. The rules. I've already told you everything. No! Are they going to kill him? at the beginning, as usual. If you persist no, in this wait. stubbornness, I was I'll just have... catching my breath. Why wouldn't I tell you again? I, I don't even know anything. There's an old man. He lives in Riften. He could be this Esburn you're looking for, but I don't know. He's old and seemed kind of crazy. <laughs> That's all I know. And his name is? I don't know his name. 
luck, I've already told you a hundred. Oh! oh man. You know the rules. Just answer the questions. And where can we find this nameless old man? Oh, like I said, I don't know. I've seen him down in the Ratway. Maybe he lives down there, but I don't know for sure. That will be all for now. I must say I continue to be disappointed in your lack of cooperation. I hope next time you will do better. What else do you want from me? I've already told you everything. <laughs> Listen, if you let me go, I can take you to Rift and show you where... Silence, prisoner! <laughs> They're gonna come up here? I've never... I've also never heard the interrogation before. I'm getting sneak skill for this somehow. Just for not moving. Okay, um... I guess I have to take these guys out. No. Never should have come here! Over here! Oh yeah. <laughs> this is great. I love that so much. Okay. Esburn. Fugitive. Capture only. Highest priority. Male nor late seventies. He's really old. One of the Blade's lore masters prior to the first war against the Empire. He's not a field agent, but is now believed to be behind some of the most damaging operations carried out by the Blades during the pre-war years, including the Fallen Set Fallenesti incident and the breach of the Blue River prison. His file remained dormant for many years, an inexcusable error on the part of the my predecessor predecessor. Um, still in the dark is the cause and meaning of the dragons. I've made capturing Esbern our top priority. Okay. So, yeah. They don't... They don't seem to know. Alright. Take it. Oh. What's happening? Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Si I'm dead off. You're You're dead. Dead. Oh man, we gotta save him. Oh, he's dead. Don't mess with the kitty paw. Melbourne died. Take his magic ring, though. We're gonna eat an apple. We're gonna drink some mead. Um, trap door key. Hey, that that's good. Um, they also have a trap door key, but I don't think I need two of them. Did they kill this guy? I told you. I don't know anything else about it. I'm not here to torture you. What? Who? What? What do you want then? No time to explain. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Sure. Uh, okay. Come on. This way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. Um... Yeah, who are you? They grabbed me in Riften. They seem to think I know something. 
They just kept asking me the same damn questions. Okay, um... Sounds good. <sighs> Whatever you want. But let's go, now. Saving a guy. We're saving a guy. I already have the trapdoor key. Now I have to keep this guy alive. Hopefully I can manage to do that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hey, uh, guy, don't go down there. Maybe I can... <gasps> Why? Is he fighting it? Oh, yeah, he died immediately. Why would he do that? Why would he do that? <laughs> Let's lightning it. He ran away. Well, let's fire it instead. Fire seemed to work really well. And we'll drink some more magic just in case. And, um... We'll just, like, quickly go... I don't, I don't want magic right now. I want to punch him, actually. But hopefully I don't die. Sorry, guy. You didn't- you ran ragged trousers. That's kind of cool. I want that. Ah, uh, you're naked now. Sorry. Oh god, it's coming back. Hey, it's a stone. Oh shit. Yeah, that doesn't do shit. Okay, um... I don't- I don't have any way of healing either. It's on fire. I have no no items. I don't have any weapons. Oh no. <laughs> Please don't be the end of me. Okay, we'll go we'll keep one. Yes! Just a couple punches. I picked up a stone. Age before man, I think I already read that book. Can I open the satchel or whatever it is? Well, we learned Ulfric is a traitor. He's um basically trying to take down the Empire for the elves. I don't want this magic. Free my work equipment. So where's my equipment? Um, oh, down here. It's all the way back at Riverwood. But we learned a lot. We learned Ulfric is a complete traitor. This entire rebellion is a lie. And... There's some old guy in Riften. Hey, Lydia's back with me. Damn, stop I've been looking for you. Members. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. You like faded out of no nothing for Let's a second there. Here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Items added. What did I get? I get a note? Letter. Read. The Rising Dead? Someone please help! A group of necromancers are experimenting with conjuring zombies using ancient, dangerous magic, which I fear will have unintended and irreversible consequences. I was expelled from their studies, and as uh, their ambitions grew too f into folly, against my warnings, they're performing a ritual to summon a large group of these foul, uncontrollable creatures as we speak. In the southernmost area of Skyrim. And must be stopped before it's too late. Can I read my invitation? Hey, it is, it is me. 
And we already read that, and... We already read that. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Shouted him apart. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I can tell you. Okay. I don't care about your relationship. Um, love triangle. I almost got killed by another frost troll. You made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? The Thalmor know nothing about the dragons. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Yes. Uh, yes, I'm sure. They're looking for someone named Esbern. Esbern? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. <laughs> that crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. What would the Thalmor want with Esbern? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. So the Thalmor think the blades know about the dragons. Ironic, right? The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Do they know where he is? They think he's hiding out in Riften. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. Okay. Yeah, what happened to the blades? Why are you on the run? The Thalmor happened. They've been hunting down every blade they can find for the past 30 years. Thanks to the White Gold Concordat, they've been able to operate throughout the Empire with impunity. White Gold Concordat is the treaty that um, ended the war between the Empire and the, the Elves. Um, so why does the Empire allow Thalmor free reign? Because of the... Yeah, so why are they hunting you? When I was young, our leaders became obsessed with the Thalmor threat. They believed that if and when we found a dragonborn, we would need to protect her against the Thalmor. Turns out we fatally underestimated the Thalmor. They smashed us with ease during the Great War. I was one of the few who escaped. For a long time, all I cared about was staying alive and taking revenge on the Thalmor when I could. But then the dragons returned, and I remembered that the blades used to be dragon slayers and that we were sworn to protect the Dragonborn, the greatest dragon slayer of all. That's crazy. Okay, so where's my stuff? You said it was in your room? What do you need, Dragonborn? Is it in here? Oh yeah, this is my stuff. Let's take all of it. Can I disenchant you need stuff? Something? Yeah, I'll just use your table. What is it? Sorry, sorry. You want to use your table? No, the only thing I can do is my gloves, and I want to keep those. Ah, oh. well. Maybe I'll find more gloves like this. Book of the Dragonborn. It's a book about me. Book about take a look. All right, where are we going? Where's this quest marker leading us? Oh yeah, we gotta go to Riften. Well, it's been a crazy adventure. I think I'm gonna call it here for now. So thanks for watching everybody and um, I'll see you in the next bread episode. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>